Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. A few days ago, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, probably saw on my stories that despite the encroaching nature of having tier 4 here in London, which is basically our government's way of saying that they're putting us back into lockdown for Christmas without really saying that we are. <laughs> anyway, I had a really nice video chat with one of my oldest friends. Uh, it kind of gave me an excuse or a reason. Give me a reason to wake up early in the morning. Yep, a couple of days ago, I actually left the house um, just for a short walk nothing major just went picked up a matcha latte and yeah i found some street trash super classy um <laughs> but i put it up on my insta stories and asked you guys if you were interested to see about my find uh because i did indeed rescue something from the street trash ah uh, my classiness continues I found this really cute book here, which is so cute. I mean, like, why would you throw this out? And it was sad because it was, it had just been raining in the morning and it was kind of damp. Like, you can see that the cover is really warped now. I'm not really the type of person to pick up stuff off the street and keep it. My neighborhood is kind of one of those places where like people do that all the time, clear out things that they don't want and just leave bits of furniture out on the street. Usually old books, to be honest, if someone might want to pick them up. But I have to say, look at her cute face. Look at it. Couldn't, kind of couldn't say no. So I thought it would be nice to do a little video for you guys really randomly. Um, I guess like I'm still new to this YouTube thing and I don't really know what I want to do with it. I just kind of want to have fun with it. So this, I thought this was kind of cute and it's got so many nice little illustrations in here. date on here like there's no i don't know what you call that no like real information about when this was actually published i mean it says here printed in great britain by morrison and gibb limited london and edinburgh but judging by the illustrations i'm guessing this was probably done in the 50s for my uk uh watches out there watches viewers for my uk viewers out there um you probably noticed that it says um that it's from the daily mail and if you live and grew up in the uk you'll know that the daily mail is a newspaper that's been going i don't know how long obviously at least since the 50s but it's so funny because now you when you say like the daily mail newspaper not great things come to mind. It's interesting to find something like this. So anyway, let's flick through this and show you how cute it is and actually how happy I am to find some good old street trash.
block I would say at the moment and I have been for at least a month. I haven't finished anything decent in weeks but obviously this book is super cute and really inspiring and I, I, I definitely will come back to this like more and more and try and read some of these stories and see what they're like but I thought for this video I would try and draw something inspired by some of the things that I found in here just to try and push myself out of this block like I feel the only way to get yourself out of a block definitely or how I, I tend to try and get myself out of an art block is to just one, give myself a break, um, like don't put pressure on it. And then I flip that idea on its head and I force myself to draw anyway, um, hoping that one day one of those ideas will just kind of come to fruition and then I'll feel like I can kind of get back into the flow again. So very contradictory <laughs> ideas of how I try and get rid of my art block but yeah I'm definitely not putting pressure on it as much um, as I used to. Let's get going with that. I'm probably gonna lose the daylight because the UK is so dark. I hate the winter. Fingers crossed I can show you something finished. watching guys i really appreciate it for all the support so far i hope you're liking these weird videos that i'm doing for youtube i don't know i guess that i'm finding them fun for now i hope you like them too please like share subscribe comment i'd love to hear what you guys think about this book as well if anyone has any history on daily mail like compilation books like this that would be cool please put that in the comments below until next time sayonara janne bye guys thank you